Hi Aries, I hope you're doing well and this is going to be your October uh, tarot reading. Let's just jump right into it and let's see what you can expect to happen in uh, October 2019. So Aries, what can Aries expect to happen in October 2019? I'm doing well as you can see. <clears throat> New hair color. Okay beautiful 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 cards the first card i have here i mean the bottom of the deck is temperance to me temperance comes up when uh you have gone through something not difficult but big let's just put it that way you have gone through some kind of transformation some kind of a change and now temperance is telling you okay so you are entering the calm time now you know, you're entering this calm environment. Things are good now. You know, things are balanced now. Ace of, uh, Ace of Wands behind it. Talking about new beginnings, some kind of excitement on the way. So I feel like, you know, you needed to go through a major transformation or a major change or a major event in your life to receive some goods now. You know, to receive something exciting, to receive a new beginning, to be able to relax now. Now, the very first card I have here is the Hermit, and the Hermit a lot of times can be a very passive card. It's basically you just seeking solitude, you wanting to analyze every step that you're making, you know, you being very careful with uh, your future decisions because maybe you just had an experience of some sort. And don't worry, I don't know any Aries people, so I'm not really like, uh, you know, I'm not relating to anyone while I'm uh, interpreting this. I don't know if you've actually gone through transformation. It's just that I'm assuming you did because of uh, temperance. Temperance a lot of times suggests that uh, you are entering some kind of a good environment after having to go through a little bit of a mess, you know. And the hermit here suggests that maybe you're going to analyze a lot in the first um, in the first week or so of the month, um, this could be you seeking solitude, trying to do things on your own and not really sharing with anybody else. You know, this is just the time for reflection, the time for relaxation and uh, just thinking, a lot of thinking. So why is the hermit here? High Priestess. Definitely a lot of secrets. I don't know why but there could be a project that you're working on behind the scenes And you don't want to share it with anyone which is absolutely okay It could be you suppressing your emotions suppressing your desires because you don't want it's like you're afraid Maybe you are afraid that they could be taken away from you somehow you see when when we <laughs> When we go through a lot of struggles and when, when we finally get that temperance you know, which is it's still here at the bottom of the deck, we finally get that temperance, we finally get that calm feeling that we've achieved something. We are afraid that it's going to be taken away from us. And this could cause us to suppress our emotions, this could cause us to be a little concerned, you know, and uh, basically not to to be careful not to let it slip out of your hands, okay? But High Priestess could also be just as spiritual as the Hermit card. This could talk about you maybe getting into spirituality and doing a lot of uh, self, you know, reflecting and um, just gathering your wisdom and the knowledge that you received throughout all these years to be able to kind of set the foundation for your future goals. Now, the next card I have here, which I'm really excited about, Nine of Pentacles. You know, Nine of Pentacles is a card of a very self-sufficient person, very independent, very strong. It's like they're able to do whatever they want, you know, because they know they're going to be okay. Uh, they are able to support themselves completely. They are able to... Um, if it's a woman, you know, she doesn't need a man to be happy. If it's a man, he's very self-sufficient, he's very self-confident. Could that be uh, the energy of uh, October? Let's see. So why is Nine of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. That's so wonderful. Because I feel like with uh, this particular opportunity that's coming with Page of Pentacles, you're going to feel more... Uh, self-sufficient you're going to feel more self-confident in October and at first it's reflecting at first it's like quiet times not really too much action just analyzing the situation from the distance you know not really uh, doing a lot 
but then towards the middle of the month you are getting this kind of stability out of the sudden like this opportunity to either get more stable or the opportunity to improve your financial situation an opportunity to improve something in your career maybe there could be a person that you uh meet uh towards the middle of the month that will be very helpful to you it's someone that can offer you stability or someone can offer you an idea an opportunity to um get more secure with what you want and since temperance was kind of the the main card at the bottom of the deck. I do believe that something that you have gone through um, did shake up your finances, you know, or did shake up your stability somewhat, made you look at it from a completely different perspective. And now in October, you are looking at the situation, you're realizing that here, this door is open now. That's why things that have happened, happened. Uh, I can see more clearly now. I can move towards my goal, uh, better now. I'm actually struggling with one of my headaches today, headache slash migraine, so that's why it's hard for me to talk <laughs> a little bit. Um, now the next card I have here is King of Swords, and King of Swords, first of all, uh, this does not have to be an air sign or a legal person in your life, like a lawyer, <clears throat> a legal assistant, a judge, you know, even a policeman. It doesn't have to be that, okay? It can be you. It can be you and your sober, rational mind uh, in October. You have gone through some kind of a stage, and now it's not over. You know, it's not over yet. You still got to work towards your goal. You still got to do whatever you need to do. And I feel like you're so rational now. You're, um, you took time in the beginning of the month or you will, I should say, to think about everything, to analyze everything, to think to think it through. So towards the end of the month, you can act on it and act on it rationally. And you know there will be um, a Venus-Saturn square. And uh, Saturn is always pushing us, uh, pushing us to make sure that our obligations are done and, uh, uh, you know, everything that's kind of like an obstacle, it pushes us to deal with them. So I feel like that's that's your way of dealing with the obstacles and that's your way of uh, uh, doing things in a, doing things rationally and being able to manifest what you need in a rational way, not spontaneously, not rushing into anything. It's actually a really good uh, tactic that you chose here. So why is King of Swords here? <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. That's wonderful. First of all, you could get paid by someone that owes you for example, you could get um, some kind of a fair, fair treatment, fair wage, fair, you know, fair pay. Uh, Six of Pentacles is all, always some kind of a balance. It's always, you know, uh, you give, you take, it's equal, there is no off balance energy. You know, Six of Pentacles is also about getting something, receiving something, maybe from authorities. So the tactic that you're going to have this month to achieve your professional goals, to achieve your stability, you know, so you can always feel this way, okay, and not this way. <laughs> uh, this can actually bring you some kind of a, something in return. It took me a while to think of the word. This could be help from authorities. This could be finances, maybe, you know, money that you've somebody owes you and haven't paid you in a very long time. You know, you could receive that. There, there is a lot here that can happen. But what else I love about, about this is that we have Ace of Cups at the end of the spread. And Ace of Cups is all about emotional fulfillment, happiness, something that's always, almost bringing you to tears. Maybe you're going to celebrate your success with others. Maybe there is more success coming. Uh, let's see. So why is Ace of Cups here? And Nine of Cups. What's funny is that I do have Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, but this is your past energy. This is your old energy. This is feeling like maybe you've done, you've made a lot of mistakes. You know, maybe this is a feeling of maybe, you know, maybe I've done something wrong. Maybe 
um, I can disappoint myself and disappoint others. But no, October, especially the beginning of October, middle of October, is all for you analyzing your path, analyzing the, your tactic and how to do things right and how to do things so you can benefit from them. How can you get what you deserve? How can you get what you've been owed? And as you can see here with Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups, it's amazing because that means that some kind of a wish is coming true. So Temperance card at the bottom of the deck totally makes sense here. It makes sense that, you know, you are entering a new environment in your life right now after some kind of chaos, you know, or a mess or a big event. And now this is the time where you can use that amazing new environment in your favor. So be rational, be careful, don't rush, um, think, think about everything, be wise, be wise with your decisions. And if you are, you will receive that fair treatment, that fair pay, you know, something that has been owed to you. You will also be able to fulfill your wish and it's something emotional, it's, it's something exciting, it's something that you are happy about and it's something that that you have and you feel like that well it's perfect I don't want to remove anything out of the situation or I want to add anything to the situation it's like perfect for me so that's the idea for uh, the month of October guys and it's really exciting and it's really big yeah I know I don't have any like love cards ace of cups and nine of cups they could be all about love maybe you're going to be self-reflecting in the beginning of the month about love you know and maybe Nine of Pentacles means that you are just simply single and you are trying to rational, rationalize your love life and not make any more mistakes, you know. And then towards the end of the month, here we get a beautiful new beginning. Here we get that wish. Here we get that new partner, you know, that we are so interested in. Uh, and also, this could be with uh, King of Swords and Six of Pentacles, you know. This could be maybe an air sign, maybe... Uh, you know, somebody that you've been wanting that fair treatment from, that you've been wanting that attention from, but couldn't receive it before. And here you go, here you have it towards the end of October. Or maybe this is a legal matter here. Then again, you're going to be able to win in this and something that has been owed to you is going to come. Okay, so amazing, beautiful in every aspect, like no matter how I interpret it, whether it's in love, finances, career, you know, anything else, general life, it's still, it's, it looks good. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.